Hey, how's it going? This is Kevin with Let Me Tech You, and today I'm going to be going over a video on how to set up Ubuntu Linux and EVENG. So if you haven't seen any of, my, any of my other videos, I use EVNG a lot to do networking labs, um, various things uh, from Cisco, Palo Alto, but sometimes you may want a server in the mix, you know, whether it's Windows or Linux to test various softwares, uh, maybe security um, patches or, or just, you know, try to play with different things in there that correlates to networking. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set this up really quick. So... What you're going to need to do is if you already got EV and G installed, you can do that. If not, head over there, download that, and you can follow along in this blog. But what we're going to need to do first is we're going to need to go to Ubuntu's website to download the, uh, the latest ISO. Well, we're going to need to get the link for it. So I'm going to open that up here. Now what this is, is we're going to download. We can So to get the link, basically all we need to do is right click. Go to, I'm going to want to copy, oh, copy link address. Or, you know, if you want this one, you can copy that link address as well. And then we're going to open up a notepad and paste that in. So that's basically our URL we're going to be grabbing the, UR, um, the download from. So then what we're going to need to do next is then SSH into our EVNG host. and then password so now that we're in we basically now we want to uh, download that to our home directory now I've already done this portion of it but I'll still go through it besides actually implementing it so we'll do CD home and we want to do a w git and then you'll just right click the paste in that link and then you'll hit enter and it'll download it into this home directory now from there we'll need to create a directory to move that into and what we'll do is we'll want to make that directory into our QEMU folder so QEMU is basically it's a um, it's an open source machine emulator that allows you to virtualize um, run virtual machines on Windows Mac and Linux so that's what that format is for so we're gonna go into our CD op netlab and QE. So as you can see, I have a Linux 22.0 um, folder. And if we go into that, I have my Ubuntu ISO. But what you want to do is you want to do a make dir and then you want to call it, you know, Linux 22.04. And then you want to CD into that. So once you do it, you want to CD into that. Sorry, making noise. Let me turn the volume off on that. Okay. So once you're in there, you basically then want to copy from your home directory the image. So then, you know, it's probably going to be something like Ubuntu. You can usually hit tab and then it'll um, fill in the rest. And then at the end, you want to change it to cd-rom.iso, just to make the name smaller. Once that's done in there, and you're inside the um, folder, you basically want to then run opt qemu bin, and then qemu image, and then it's going to create and basically what we're doing here is we're creating a virtual 16 gig uh, image that will sit on this server. So, you, you know, if, depending on also your size of your server, you know, you can check your, um, you know, just to make sure you have enough space and everything like that. So 16 gigs should be good. So then once we get that all set up, now we want to have to, now we want to add a Linux node to our lab. So how you do that is we'll go into our lab here, our instance. And this is a lab I already had up, but what I'll do is I'll add node. So I go to add an object, node, and I should have Linux in there. 
And see, now we have our 2204. And then I hit OK, save. And then if I start this, I should now be coming up. Now I essentially have my, you know, Linux node sitting. Now it's not connected to any network or anything, but you can get all into that, connecting it to different, whether it be uh, servers or networking gear. But that's basically it. Now that you have that set up, you can utilize it for various things. You can um, add additional Linux uh, um, images, you know, whether it be Ubuntu desktop. Um, you, you can even do this with Windows, which I'll do a video on that as well. Um, Docker and all of the sort. So again, that's it. You know, if you have any comments or questions on anything, um, you know, just let me know. Drop me a comment below, and I'll you know feel free to uh, answer anything. Um, again, thanks for tuning in. I hope to see you next time.